Hey there, I'm Bogdan Budaka and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. You're just in time for another mind workout. I hope you're staying indoors and that you keep safe and keep learning. So uh, today we're going to go over another cool little problem. Uh, we're going to be reaching into the coding toolbox and uh, use Java today. For Java, I use the IntelliJ IDE and also with uh, the Amazon Open JDK Coretto. Uh, I'm going to link to it in the description below. So uh, let's dig right in. So our problem for today is how can we help a cashier return uh, the optimal number of, uh, of coins for change? Okay, so help the cashier return. Actually, what I mean by optimal is the smallest number of coins possible. Okay, help the cashier return the smallest number of coins possible for change okay so this is also an illustration of the greedy argue uh, the greedy algorithm uh, you can you can look that up uh, basically what it says is that for each step of the solution we try to take as uh, big of a bite from the from the for example the change amount as possible that way making sure that we return the smallest number of uh, coins possible and hence the greedy name okay so we have uh, four four types of uh, coins so we have a quarter that's 25 cents we have a dime that's 10 cents oh just see yep then we have a nickel oh nickel sorry five cents and then we have penny that's one cent okay so, uh, of course, feel free to stop the video at any point if you feel you can continue on your own and do so. Uh, so, how would, how would we do this? So, if we think about it, and let's have an example to illustrate this. So, let's imagine that the customer needs 0 0.41 dollars uh, of change. Okay. So, starting, we would we would always start with the biggest, uh, the biggest, um, the biggest amount, the biggest type of coin. So that would be a quarter. So we get one quarter out of it. We deduct one quarter, and that that leaves us with sixteen. And then we get one dime. That leaves us with uh, six. And then we get one nickel. Yep. Next row, nickel, and then one penny. Okay. So that's that's basically it. For example, if we think of uh, 0 0.66, 41 and 25, 0. yeah, that would just add another quarter, okay? So we would have two quarters and the rest would be the same, okay? We'd always want to deduct as much as possible with the bigger, the bigger coin, okay? So if we try to write this in pseudocode, basically what we would try to do is as long as the change amount uh, amount okay is less is greater sorry greater than or equal to oh, to zero we deduct 25 and then as long actually i can i can copy this out as long as the change amount is greater than or equal to zero, we deduct 10. Okay, and so on. So that's that's basically it. If, uh, if we think about what we need, so we would need the change amount. That's a good place to start. So the change amount and then we would need, we're actually going to, to transform this into the number of cents. So cents amount that that just basically means multiplying it by 100 because if we imagine inputs like zero like float numbers 0 0.66 or 0 0.41 or 1.33 or whatever that the 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 amount may be if we multiply it by 100 we would get the cents amount okay and then we would actually go through the steps uh, that we talked about in the in the pseudo code okay steps above iterate iterate and deduct okay that's that's pretty much it so let's crack the ide open and start writing some code so the first thing we would need we would need a scanner so we can read the input from the console 
So we can use the scanner class and new scanner and then system dot in. Okay, and here we would need the change. So that will be a float, float change. And here we would try to make sure that, that the input that we get is not uh, equal to zero or less than zero. So as you might have seen before in previous videos, we're going to do, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want, okay. And here we will SOUT tab for uh, system out pin line. Then please input the change amount. Good, so we have that down and then we would pass that to change, okay? Next float. We would read that from the from the console, the console and pass that to change, okay? And here oh, we would need the condition, of course, while and here while change we're going to keep doing that while change is less than or equal to zero. Okay, good. And now, as, as we've discussed, we're going to need the sense amount. We're going to use a math round for this because we don't want to, we want to make sure we eliminate any types of, any kind of anomalies. So here we get change and just multiply it by 100. Good, and now another thing we could use is, so for each coin type, we could declare another int for, uh, for each of them and just have them uh, and use them as counters. So each time we go through, through their uh, category, let's call it, we're going to increment, increment their counters, okay? So int quarters, actually we're also gonna initialize them to zero, and times zero. And pennies. Oh, let's let's keep keep the order. Equals zero and pennies equals zero. Okay. Good. So now we're going to we're going to start checking and deducting the for each coin type, starting with the biggest. So we start for quarters. While and we check change minus. Actually, we're going to use cents because that's our cents amount sense minus 25 is greater than or equal to zero we're going to actually proceed and deduct 25 from sense sense minus 25 and we're going to increment our quarters counter okay so that's basically it for the quarters and we would proceed to do the same for the other three as well so we need three more of these code blocks so this would be, where is it, here, sorry, this would be the dimes, so we need 10 here, we check for 10, we deduct 10, and then we have nickels, and here we deduct 5, actually check for 5 and deduct 5, and for pennies, we increase the counter, we, deduct, we check for minus 1, and we deduct 1. Okay, so I hope this is right. Okie doke. And now having this, what we can do now is also add them up. And if we add the counters up, we will get the total number of coins to help out the cashier. Okay, verify that they're providing the right thing. And total coins count, for example, equals, and we just add them up. Dimes, nickels, pennies. Okie doke, and now we could start uh, we could start printing them out in the console. So S O U T the number of needed quarters quarters is and then we append quarters and we need three more, actually four more. So here we have the dimes, dimes, nickels nickels pennies and here the total number of needed coins is coins count okay quarters dimes nickels pennies and total coins count okay 
So I hope this is right and that it makes sense. So let's test it out. Shift F10 to run it. Here we go. So let's try 0 0.41 first. Okay, so that looks to be right. So we have one of each and total of four. Run it again. Let's use the 0 0.66. Okay, so this looks right as well. Let's actually do a negative a zero one. Ooh, see what happens. Okay, so we get prompted again and minus uh, three. We get prompted again. That's good. Okay, so we're basically making sure that we're not getting any bogeys like zero or, or minus negative numbers. Uh, no, no. Uh, 0 0.78 so that's three quarters that's 75 and then three pennies left right let's try 0 0.99 oh. so three quarters 75 then 95 and then four pennies okay that's about right let's try uh, two dollars and 48 cents get nine quarters so that's two dollars two dollars twenty five and then two two dimes that's two dollars and forty five and then three pennies okay try one more no uh, no no one dollar and um sixty two oh one dollar and sixty two cents so six quarters that's one fifty and then we have one dime one sixty and then two pennies okay and the total number of coins is nine okay so that's that's about right so yeah this is this is it for for today i hope this was as fun for you as it was for me and if you found this interesting in any way please give the video a like and subscribe and i'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you around